Hello, my dear friends. So I welcome you now for the practical setup. So here we go. These are the five bottles which I was mentioning when I was explaining you the theory part of this particular experiment. I have labeled those bottles as one, two, three, four, and five. And as you can see, my dear friends, see this. Okay, in all the bottles, I have already added one gram of charcoal. All right, to which I will be adding varying amounts of 0.5 normal acetic acid. I hope you remember what are the amounts. Oh yes, this one will be 50, then 40, 30, 20, 10. Okay, so here we go. So we start with the first one, and that's going to be 25 ml. This is a 25 ml pipette. I need to add 50 ml, so I'll be pipetting out twice. This is the first increment. Now the second increment. So this is 50 ml. Now we go for the next one. How much it is? 40 ml. This is 40 ml. So I have already added 15 from here and now 25 more. So 15 was the previous edition and the second edition 25 ml. So it comes out to be 40. We're going to the third bottle now. This is initially I'm adding 5 ml. This is 25, so it is 30 ml. So this is bottle number 3 with 30 ml. Now we go for 20 ml for the bottle number 4. Now finally, we go for the last one and that is Now the final one, 10 ml So we have completed with the additions of the varying amounts of 0.5 normal 
acetic acid. Now the next thing is we need to shake this vigorously. All the contents we need to shake it well. Mix it thoroughly so that it is going to ensure the adsorption. And we need to put it in the water bath. This is bottle number five. In between, also, we will be keep shaking this solution so as to ensure the absorption part. Now, let us keep it as it is for some time so allow it to settle down. In the meantime, now. We start carrying out the titration. Okay, now the titration will be I fill the burette with 0.1 normal NaOH. Okay, now I'll be taking a particle flask and 5 ml of acetic acid. of phenolphthalate indicator to this and now we start with our titration 0.1 normal NOH and 0.5 normal acetic acid so we are going to start with our titration So now you can see my dear friends is slowly and slowly turning pink at the point of contact. So we need to slow down. This gives an indication that the, we are very close to the end point. So slowly drop by drop with constant swirling of the solution. That's the way we need to carry out the titration so as to locate the exact end point. So here we go, this is what we get, the pink coloration and the reading is 25 point, just one more drop required, yes. Twenty-five point two. Okay, so now you can see it's now half an hour. Okay, we have to keep it for half an hour. In between, I have shaken the solutions. We'll take first bottle, that is bottle number one. Now, what are we going to do is we are going to filter. But my dear friends, as I told you in the theoretical part, when I start with the filtration, first three to four drops has to be rejected. Alright? So, we start very slowly, 
with the filtration part so this 3 to 4 drops i am going to reject and now we'll do the filtration Now I am going to prepare out 10 ml of this solution. Few drops of phenolphthalein mitigator. The burette is already filled with white one normal NOH. So we are going to start with the titration part. So now you can see at the point of contact the pink coloration is observed. Can you see this? This is a pink coloration. So as we saw the pink color disappears So you can see this, it's still one or two drops required, few more drops to make it pink. Yes, and the reading is 46.1. So similarly now, we are going to take 10 ml from each of these bottles and we are going to titrate it against 0.1 normal anyways. 
Now, my dear friends, as you know from the friendless adsorption isotherm, that the extent of adsorption is related to the amount. So, if you can recollect, in the first bottom we have maximum, that is 50 mm. And then what we did? We started reducing it by 10 mm. So, 40, 30, 20, 10. So, obviously, you got it now? Yes. What I mean to say? The reading will also proportionately decrease. So, this is all, my dear friends, about the practical demonstration of the friendly adsorption isotherm. I hope you all understood this very well. Thank you very much.